Welcome back. So we're just days away from the biggest football game of the year. And it's also a good time to shop if you're in the market for a new big screen TV. The trick to finding the right one to match your needs and your budget. Well, luckily Consumer Reports has done the homework for you. Senior tech editor Jim Wilcox joins us with some top recommended big screen TV deals. So welcome in first off. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, so how good are the TV deals you're seeing right now and why is right now such a great time to buy? So this is a good time to buy, you know, Black Friday tends to get all the attention and sometimes we do see the lowest prices of the year. But the two weeks leading up to the Super Bowl is probably the second best time to buy. There's a lot of promotions. And the good thing is a lot of times we're seeing deals on higher performing sets and TVs with very large screen sizes, 65 inches and above. Okay, so let's talk about some of those deals because I'm a sucker for all that. Um, which TV do you recommend if you can afford to splurge a little bit? So we put all the TVs through a battery of tests, and the TVs that have come out on top of our ratings are the LG OLED TVs. There's a model mm -hmm. called C9 that we really like. It's a bit pricey. It's $1,800, but it really does everything well, everything from you know picture quality to unlimited viewing angles. Okay. Well, $1,800, I'm glad that it does that well. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to spend that much, though. So in the mid-tier range, about $1,200, you can get a Samsung QLED TVs, and that's their top series of TVs. We like the Q70 model. Um, again, it's about $1,200 for a 65-inch set. It does everything well. And one of the other things it does is that it helps to reduce motion blur during fast-moving scenes, oh, cool. so like in uh, things that you see in sports. Okay, and then if we're looking for a good budget price TV, what would you recommend there? Yeah, the great news is you don't even have to spend $1,000. There's mm -hmm. an up-and-coming brand called TCL. They make a six-series set that only costs about seven to $800 for a 65-inch model. Again, it does everything right. The thing is the sound isn't as great, so you might want to consider getting a sound bar with that TV. Okay, well, that sounds really good. Lastly, out of all the TVs you recommended, well, those are all smart TVs. Now, the FBI, just a few months ago, they did issue that warning that smart TVs could be vulnerable to being hacked. So what's something that we as consumers should be thinking and knowing about all that? So, you know, we've investigated that, and, and, and hacking isn't the big problem. The problem really is the TVs are snooping on you. They have a technology called automatic content recognition. Oh. What it does is it's able to identify everything that you watch on that TV, whether it's a cable or streaming service. And the good thing is that it's able to make program recommendations. The bad thing, though, is that a lot of times companies are selling that data to third-party brokers who are then targeting you with advertising and marketing. The good news is that you can turn off some of those features, and we show you how to do that step-by-step -step by the different brands on ConsumerReports.org. Well, I'm glad you have that feature. That way people can stop Big Brother from watching. Well, thank you so That's much. That's really not that difficult. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jim. My pleasure. Bill?